After this manner, therefore pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Christ teaches how to pray. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus initiates a prayer for us to model after. He shows us what are the important inclusions in our prayer life. To have a more whole experience in prayer, we will apply these principles regularly. The first emphasis Jesus teaches us is family. The word our refers to our Christian brothers and sisters in the family of God. The congregation of believers in Christ as Savior are our spiritual relatives. We are connected by Christ, our perfect brother, and God, our Father. We are born-again ones, saints of God. We are no longer identified as sinners. We are children of God and sibling saints. We are new creations. We are to include each other in our prayers. We care about each other. We minister together. We help each other grow in Christ. We will share our heavenly home. The words our, us, and we are mentioned a combined nine times in Jesus' prayer for us to follow. We are not alone in our Christian journey. We have the body of Christ, the people of the church, to help us along our earthly way. Jesus wants us to remember these things about our Christian family when we pray. This is why it is so important that we fellowship with other believers more and more. Our shared connection in Christ supports one another and lets us know we are not isolated nor rejected. Our physical family may not support our faith, but our saved siblings do. Let's walk in harmony, love, and forgiveness as we remember each other in prayer.